Vegas. Let's have a round of applause for that. We are proud to have over 220 contestants vying for those four crowns to represent Las Vegas in the 2009 National Cities of America pageant where at stake will be over $60,000 in prizes, $30,000 in cash scholarships, and new cars to all four winners of the Cities of America pageant. So let's have another big round of applause. I'd like to formally introduce myself. My name is Lee Wells. I'll be the MC for this wonderful pageant and also an event of a lifetime that you as well as all of these very, very talented ladies behind this curtain will experience for a lifetime. The journey is not only starting this evening. It actually started about four weeks ago. Each one of these contestants was normally in the size of Las Vegas, reaching about two million per capita. We normally get about a thousand contestants just wishing to participate. The lucky few behind this curtain, just over 220, were chosen through that information session with a personal pre-interview to determine the qualities to put them on this stage. After that information session, they return two weeks later for a training session. During the training session, each one of these ladies were able to be trained in all facets of pageantry. First part of the competition, we started yesterday, actually, in the personal interview. Now, backing up to the training session, each one of the ladies were able to be trained on poise, also conversational and interview skills, which they put to the test yesterday. Today, when we open up the curtain with the casual wear part of the competition, each one of the ladies will be strutting their stuff in their favorite outfit, whether it be maybe something they enjoy wearing on a social on Sunday, or maybe a favorite hobby outfit. After the casual wear part of the competition, the journey continues into the formal wear competition. During the formal wear competition, each one of the contestants will be escorted up to the X and ask a very, very important open-ended question. Now, Nationals sets itself apart from all other pageant competitions because we develop as well as compete for ladies with the beauty on the inside complementing the beauty on the outside, and that's what we're all about. Let's have a round of applause for that. Now, following the formal wear part of the competition, we'll have a short intermission, tabulate those three preliminary scores, bring all of the contestants back up on stage. We'll have two special awards. We'll have a Miss Photogenic Award be awarded to a winner and a runner-up in each of the four categories. Then we will go into the last special award, which is the Miss Congeniality Award. And then we will announce the top ten scores that rise to the top in each of the four categories. We'll bring those lucky 40 back up on stage immediately to compete in the semi-final round. After the semi-final round, another very brief break. We'll tabulate those 40 scores and then we will bring them back to announce the four runners up and the lucky four to represent Las Vegas. Let's have a big round of applause once again for that journey. Now before we open up the curtain, we have some special, special individuals and definitely professionals in the community that will be judging the ladies as they go through this journey. Now if you can please respect as well as be courteous when I introduce each one of the judges in the judging panel to please give them your applause after they have been announced. Starting to my right. On the judging panel, we have Ms. Shauna Reed. Ms. Reed is manager of Las Vegas Bridal Beauty and a location service that provides hair, makeup, and beauty needs for weddings, parties, and the Susan G. Coleman Las Vegas Race for the Cure. She contributes to help for the homeless and is a member and assistant with her daughter's Browning Troop. Big round of applause, Ms. Shauna Reed. Next on our distinguished panel, we have Ms. Christine Ali. Ms. Ali, Senior Sales Director for Mary Kay Cosmetics, and she oversees 100 
consultant who works with her 1,800 customers, instructing them in the skin care and makeup application. She's an active board member of her homeowners association. She also volunteers in her local church, community activities, and provides image management classes for job concepts in Nevada. A big round of applause for Ms. Christina Lee. Next on our panel, we have Mr. Donovan Gallardo. Mr. Gallardo is owner of Sin City Waste Trimmers, specializing in weight management and fitness, fitness training. He also volunteers as a referee for junior and senior high school football and lacrosse teams. Mr. Donovan Gallardo. Next on our panel, we have Ms. Crystal Ball. Ms. Ball of Kim Flowers Talent is Director of International Modeling and Talent. Along with her extensive work in all aspects of the talent and fashion industry, she volunteers with such organizations as Las Vegas Youth Alliance, Safe Street, Opportunity Village, as well as Shake Tree for Abused Women, among others. And she was crowned Mrs. Nevada 2004 and is a renowned runway coach internationally. Miss Crystal Ball. Next on our panel is Ms. Dr. Florzine Rand Gray. She is the founder and president of the Protocol Etiquette School of Nevada, Las Vegas, leader in etiquette and protocol services. She has presented etiquette seminars and briefings to over several thousand individuals worldwide. Her clients represent businesses, corporations, government, education, entertainments, as well as pageants. She's a frequent contributor to trade and business publications, and her advice is sought by the Las Vegas Review-Journal newspaper, the Las Vegas Sentinel Voice, as well as many other newspaper publications. She answers questions also through a column, which appears in Las Vegas Family and Community Experience magazines from all over the world on the internet. She's the author of Modern Manners, Manners for Young Ladies, as well as the Art for Etiquette for Young Men. She ranks number one as Nevada's leader in etiquette and protocol services. Dr. Florzy Van Gray. Next on the panel, we have Ms. Juliet Douglas. Ms. Douglas is a wedding consultant and owner of Green Orchid Events, wedding and special event planning company. And through her and prior to her career as a wedding consultant, she performed as a lead and background vocalist for the Las Vegas Lounge Show Productions. In her spare time, she enjoys dining in new restaurants, cooking, traveling, spending time with her husband, 